This type of electrical machine built on the combination of friction and inductance was invented in 1868 by Ferdinand Philip Carrier. The system consists of two discs that are rotated with the help of pulleys. The lower glass disc is dropped by two leather cushions, whereas the surface of the upper ebony disc receives the induced charge through a brass flange located opposite the glass disc and transferred from the other flanges connected to the big copper conductor in the upper part of the tool. There may be a connection with the contact conductor mounted below the flange with the help of a long brass electrode with an ebony handle. This helps to alter the spark length to the maximum 150 mm. The big ring on the lower part of the conductor is used to secure the laden jar. The machine was for the most part spread in France and used in electrotherapy. Except for the single one, there was also a double current machine, which combined friction and inductance. It consisted of a big ebony disc in the center, which received charge from the two discs located on the sides. One of them was made of glass and wrapped the silk cushions. The other one from ebony and wrapped the fur cushion. The charges were used by the two brass current collectors located at the edges of the disc, where they crossed the central disc. The charge collected in the two brass spheres one for positive and negative charges that is separated by a glass tube is secured in brass stand. This type of generator is very rare. Electrostatic machines like this current machine play a significant role in the studies of the structure of matter and all application of electricity in medicine. They still look very promising as reliable lower power sources of high voltage.